The way that dance came into my life was very unexpected. I was 13 years old, living in a motel with my single parent, my mother, and five of my siblings. I never thought I could make a career out of something that I enjoyed doing, something I was passionate about, something that gave me a voice. There's just been a, a whole slew of African-American women who have just really pushed me and motivated me during those times that I didn't know if I could do it. Raven Wilkinson, one of the first African-American ballerinas to dance in a major ballet company. It's important for me to set an example of what a healthy image is, what a ballerina can be, that she doesn't have to be a white woman that's real thin, <laughs> that she can, she can look like the world. And I think that's what American Ballet Theater also helps to represent, is what Americans look like, and that dreams are possible here, and that you really can push yourself to become anything with the right work ethic and support around you. I hope to see more diversity on the stage when I'm 60 years old watching in the audience. <laughs> I hope the audience is more diverse. I think that's why people go to see performances. They want to see something beautiful, but they also want to see themselves up there. They want to be able to dream of what maybe they dream about doing, you know, going up there and dancing, but it's hard to envision that when you don't see yourself represented up there. I would want a younger child looking at me on the cover to see themselves, to see endless opportunities, to see possibilities that uh, maybe they never even thought were something that they could attain. I want them to be able to see dreams through me.